Hi everyone, this is Barb from Barb's Tea Service. And today we're gonna to talk about an issue that some people feel uncomfortable, maybe a little reticent to talk about. So we're gonna address it full on today. And that is, how do you eat a cupcake in public? For those of you who follow Miss Manners, maybe caught her article last weekend in the paper, she was asked just that question. The reader asks, what is the proper way to eat a cupcake when one is not given a fork? Should I ask for a fork? I always seem to make a mess of one. Our knowing Miss Manners says, the cupcake is the fried chicken of dessert. It should be properly eaten only informally or with family. Now, while our book, Barb's Tea Service 12 Etiquette Essentials Formal Dining and Tea Time, available on Amazon.com, doesn't mention the cupcake specifically. In Chapter 7, it does talk about finger food or utensils. And fried chicken, as well as corn on the cob, are listed. And I quote myself, rarely served at anything but a casual dinner, finger food only. So same principle applies. However, we do see that there's a trend to have these cupcakes at a little bit more formal occasions. So what do you do without making a mess? Well, here's our cupcake. And what Miss Manners suggests is we could take that cupcake and of course it's gonna be a little bit different with a bigger cupcake. These are smaller, <laughs> I'm already making a mess but we can bring that knife into play. And I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'm cutting the cupcake in half, and then I'm gonna place the bottom on the top and eat it like a sandwich. So it's a lot less messy. Hmm, it's really good. <laughs> so that's our message for today. Hope you feel a bit more comfortable talking about that and eating a cupcake in public. Until we meet again, stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Enjoy your cupcakes.